This video provides an overview of the Smarter Balance Tools for Teachers website. Tools for Teachers is an exciting new website from Smarter Balanced featuring lessons, activities, and strategies to enhance instruction and to save teachers time. Hundreds of educators across the Smarter Balanced states created and approved these resources for this new website. Tools for Teachers features an advanced suite of resources that focus on implementing the formative assessment process in the classroom with resources that include embedded instructional differentiation with formative assessment and accessibility strategies. In addition, this website and its resources meet Section 508 accessibility standards. Now let's take a tour of Tools for Teachers, its features, and how to use it. First, we'll start with the landing page for Tools for Teachers. The intended audience for this website is classroom teachers. It's important to take note that teachers who previously had a digital library account will automatically have an account to use Tools for Teachers, as it will be available to all school district staff. Self-registration is also available for new users that have an affiliated school district email. Let's go to the public view first. Tools for Teachers has resources available for the public to view without logging in. On the landing page, there are two instructional resources, an English language arts resource, as well as a mathematics resource. There are also two professional learning videos, an Understanding the Smarter Balanced Interim Assessments video, as well as Understanding the Formative Assessment Process. A user can conduct a search by typing in keywords or by using filters to search. There are filters available for the type of resource. There are instructional resources, professional learning resources, groups of instructional resources that are tied to interim assessments called connections playlists, as well as searches available for formative assessment strategies and accessibility strategies. There are filters available by grade level, subject areas, claims, targets, and content standards. I will conduct a keyword search. I will type in high school ratios. The system has returned 83 resources. The user can scroll through the resources and their summaries. I will select a high school mathematics resource called Is the Price Right? It's an instructional resource. I am still in the public view of Tools for Teachers. Every resource has a common structure. There are three columns on the screen. In the middle column, each resource has an overview with the lesson learning goal and the lesson success criteria. On the right side of the screen, the public user can see the claim, target, and content standard. And on the left side of the screen is an outline of the resource, listing the sections of the resource. In order to have complete access to Tools for Teachers, I will need to log in. I am now logging in to Tools for Teachers. After successfully logging in, I can see there are five icons at the top right of the screen. There's an icon for taking notes, for sharing the resource with my colleagues, for bookmarking the resource for later use, printing, as well as a toggle reading mode, which expands and collapses the screen. Every resource has step-by-step -step directions, and in the directions are embedded instructional strategies for differentiating instruction to meet student needs. Formative assessment strategies are embedded in the resource wherever there is a clover icon. Formative assessment strategies are recommended ways for teachers to assess student progress at a moment in time during instruction. Accessibility strategies are indicated by an icon featuring a silhouette of a person. Accessibility strategies are recommended ways for teachers to provide access to all students. Below the step-by-step -step directions is a section of attachments, which are materials that teachers can use to implement the resource. There's also a list of the accessibility strategies used, 
And the sixth section for things to consider. Things to consider gives teachers recommendations for making the lesson effective. For example, how to extend the activity. And finally, there is a section on how this resource fits into the formative assessment process in the classroom. Over on the right hand side, there is the word playlist. This indicates that this resource is included in a Connections playlist. Connections playlists are groups of instructional resources that are connected to an interim assessment. I will select the link to show you the Connections playlist. The title of the Connections playlist is the exact title of a Smarter Balanced Interim Assessment block. The title here is Geometry and Right Triangle Geometry. These playlists of resources are designed by groups of educators that write the instructional resources for the playlist with a focus on developing skills needed to meet the expected learning standards in the interim assessment blocks. For instance, a teacher can administer an interim assessment and use the Connections playlist of resources to fill in any curriculum gaps or academic needs that are recognized when analyzing interim assessment results. Each playlist has a list of topics or skills listed on the far left column. Across the top of the four columns are performance progressions, which show how students perform as they build their skills. As you scroll down, you will see suggestions for intervention, things to consider, a description of the interim assessment block background tied to this connections playlist, as well as why the topics and skills are important for students to learn. There is also a list of academic vocabulary, which are words that are used in this particular interim assessment that are associated with this connections playlist. The teachers can use these words throughout instruction to make sure that students are able to understand and answer the interim assessment items. And finally, there's a section called Dive Deeper. These are links to Smarter Balance resources like the Sample Items website, the Content Explorer, and information on interim assessments, a video, an overview flyer, as well as directions on how to access your interim assessments. We are very excited about this new website and the lessons and activities that were created for teachers. We hope that you visit smartertoolsforteachers.org to get started today.